DDM-238 was a bit difficult. But I was surprised. Many of you did a great job. Now, the, now we're going to learn some English, and this English is so useful. You can use these expressions every day. You can hear them all the time in real American English situations. Once again, the audio is from the situation comedy called Seinfeld. And if you are an English student, and I know you are an English student, Seinfeld by far, without a doubt, absolutely is the best situation comedy to learn real English. So many excellent, useful expressions, so many typical, common situations. And that's what you need. So, it's not that easy. I agree, it's quite difficult. We'll listen two more times, and then I'll give you the answers. Good luck. I'll have a Brutski, Charlie. Well, there's nothing like a cold one after a long day, huh? I'll have a Brutski, Charlie. Well, there's nothing like a cold one after a long day, huh? I'll have a brewski, Charlie. Well, there's nothing like a cold one after a long day, huh? You guys did really good. Uh, nothing too difficult. You got the key sentence here. This is the key. This is the great expression. And uh, you guys did very well here. I'll have a... I'll have a... I'll have a... I'll have a... So, I want you to remember, I'll... Almost no American says I'll. We say I'll, I'll, I'll. So it's an ah and an L. So the perfect L, we can see the tongue. I'll have. Now there are seven H's. He, her, him, his, had, has, have. These H's, these H words, those H's, almost always are canceled if they're in the middle of a sentence. So the seven H words, he, her, him, his, has, had, have. And almost always the H is canceled, so we connect. Linking sound. I'll have a linking. I'll have a, I'll have a, I'll have a brewski. I'll have a brewski. Oh yes, a brewski. Mmm. A brewski is what? A beer. A brewski means a beer. Some people say it with a spell it with a Y, but usually I E. A brewski. Do you like to drink brewskis? I like brewski. I, my favorite brewski is Cass, but I don't have any. It's empty. I don't have any money. I have some water. Water's good for me. Water's better for me. I'll, I'll drink water. I'll have a brewski, Charlie. Now he says, Charlie, that's the name of the bartender. He's ordering a beer. So if you go to a restaurant or to a cafe or a coffee shop, you walk up and say, I'll have a Americano. I'll have a 7-Up. I'll have a Coca-Cola. I'll have a brewski. It's so common. Know this expression. Could I please have an Americano coffee, please? Don't worry. Be natural. Smile. Be nice. I'll have a brewski, Charlie. Don't say Charlie. But you can say please. I'll have a brewski, please. That would be nice. Go to McDonald's. I'll have a Big Mac, please. I'll have a Big Mac, Charlie. If the person's name is Charlie, you can say Charlie. Uh, I smoke cigarettes. Uh, so I don't smoke Marlboro, but many people know. So you order a... I'll have a pack of Marlboro lights, please. Whatever. It's a very common expression when you order something, something to buy. The next sentence. Well, there's nothing like... Well, there's nothing like... So once again, well, very difficult to hear. He says, well, well, there's... People were laughing. There's lots of sound. And this L 
makes the TH sound a little bit weak. But most of you got it. Great job. Well, there's... Well, there's, 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 the TH is there, but it's very weak. There's nothing like a, nothing, thun, so it's an un sound, it's a schwa with an N, and the TH connects. Nothing, 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 no, nothing, thun, 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 thun. Nothing like a, nothing like a, oops, look at the TH and the L, nothing like a, we can make the TH and the L together. Nothing like a cold one. Cold one. Very weak D. It's there. There is a D, but it's very weak. Most of you got it. Nothing like a cold one. After a one. After a. Keep connecting. After a long day. Huh? Huh? Means don't you agree? Don't you agree? Isn't that so? Nothing like a cold one after a long day, huh? So, what is a cold one? A cold one is a brewski. Can a cold one be orange juice? Maybe. But 98.67% of the time, a cold one is a beer. A brewski. Okay? So if an American says to you, you want a cold one? they're probably offering you a beer. Yes, a 7-Up. Oh, I don't have 7-Up, I only have beer. That's what they might say, okay? So a cold one almost always, always refers to a beer. After a long day, what is a long day? A tiring day, a stressful day, a difficult day. Oh, after a long day. So after a long day, what do you like? Some of my DDM students said, there's nothing like a nap after a long day. There's nothing like studying English after a long day. Really? Alexander said that. Man, some people like to study English. He's tough. He's real tough. Don't mess with Alexander. Lita. <clears throat> Uh, there's nothing like a what after a long day. Me, after a long day, I like to have a beer. It tastes really good. There's nothing like a beer after a long day. There's nothing, now be careful. A cold one, we can count a beer. But if we said nap, N-A-P, there's nothing like a nap. We can count a nap, a short nap, a short period of time. But some of these are going to be uncountable. There's nothing like a water. Yeah, there's nothing like a bottle of water. So there's nothing like water. Water is uncountable. It can be uncountable. Uh, there's nothing like beer. There's nothing like chicken. This is a good example. There's nothing like chicken after a long day. If you said there's nothing like a chicken after a long day, that means you're going to eat an entire chicken, okay? So usually you just have some pieces. So in this case, there's nothing like chicken after a long day. So for me, there's nothing like chicken and beer after a long day. Oh yeah, tastes delicious, very relaxing, I like it. What about you? If you have a long day, what is the best thing? Maybe some chocolate? Maybe a kiss from your honey? Maybe a hug? Maybe a nap? Maybe some hot water? Like Sergei? Nothing like a glass of hot water after a long day. Nothing like some exercise after a long day. Be quiet, cat! Somebody asked to see my cat. Hold on a second. Come here, I'll be nice. Yep. She knows I'm angry, so she ran away. She's so loud. Anyway, where was I? So, what, for you, what is perfect after a long day? Leave a message down below. Practice the expression. It's a great expression. DDM members studied this. They practiced this expression. I hope they did. I hope everybody did. You need to, too. It's a great expression. 
And that's it for DDM-238. Pretty easy, right? Let's listen two more times. I'll have a Brutski, Charlie. Well, there's nothing like a cold one after a long day, huh? I'll have a Brutski, Charlie. Well, there's nothing like a cold one after a long day, huh? Yeah? I'll have a brewski, Charlie. Well, there's nothing like a cold one after a long day, huh? Did you practice? I hope so. English is easy. Well, if you have your grammar, if you have some basic vocabulary, English is not that bad. This is a new word, yes, I know, but everything here, it's easy, okay? A cold one means a beer. We need to understand that. A long day means a difficult day. It's just practice. Practice the expressions, all right? You have to speak, you have to try and think in English. And remember, if you really want to master English, you have to do it every day. At least five, ten minutes every day. You have to. That's important. But I know you're busy. Everybody's busy. Okay, so stay with daily dictation for the busy people. But if you're frustrated, why aren't I learning? Get serious. Join DDM. Watch E cubed. Check out, do something, okay? Of course, I want you to join my class, but you need to do something if you want to master it. Get off your butt and do it. Just do it. All right. That's it. Uh, good job. I'm really impressed with your answers, and uh, we'll see how you do on the next Daily Dictation. Bye-bye.